In the name of Allah, the most merciful and beneficent, I am Dr. Muhammad Sattar Ahmed. Today, in this video, I will try to demonstrate the disease tetanus that is zoonotic importance, especially in equine, mule, and horses. This donkey is unable to stand. I will show you this all the muscle of body are rigid, hard. This legs, this very stiff. This disease is caused by Clostridium tetani that is tetanus ball rocket shape or rough spore form produce exotoxin two types tetanospasmin and tetanolysin when oxygen level decreases it survive in harsh environment and very resistant to physical and chemical factor at 100 degrees centigrade survive for 20 minutes spores are destroyed at 115 degrees celsius for 15 so you can consider how much hard is this colostridium the incubation period start third day to four week initially there is high rise of muscular stiffness and tremors trismus inability to open the mouth with the restriction of lock jaw and prolapse of third eyelid in equine stiffness of hind limbs tail stiffness of the hind limbs tail erection of ears this the both the ears are erected and dilatation of the nostril difficulty in breathing Hyperesthesia, it means it will feel pain when you touch anything to the body. Animal continue to eat and drink in early stage, but later on, due to paralysis of the master muscles, animal is unable to masticate and saliva may drawing out from the mouth. Animal try to take in food, then it is regurgitated by the mouth and the nostril. Constipation, urinary retention due to motor nerve paralysis. Initially, temperature and pulse remain normal, but later on. Due to high muscular activity, temperature rises up to 107 Fahrenheit in cattle, mild blood, so horse posture due to uneven contraction of muscle result in curved spine and tail go aside, deviated to one side, this is mucus conjunctiva of the eye is congested difficulty in walking and may fall down as I have early told you technique conversions apostatonus 
star gazing spine muscles become curved hind limbs stretch out behind fore limbs extend forward in cattle if we consider the epidemiology reported in all form of species the transmission of the disease through the flies equine mules horse contaminated soil pathogens of the animal 30 to 40% portal entry by deep wound if there is wound this disease may spread very rapidly in cattle idiopathic tetanus due to rough fibrous feed during grazing there is high rise of temperature 107 in latest stage for height now we will try to treat this disease there is elimination of the bacteria because this is gram positive bacteria elimination of bacteria is very important penicillin g procaine penicillin 44000 international unit per kg body of weight iv or intramuscular the normal dose of penicillin is from 10000 to 20000 international unit neutralization of toxin is very important so injection anti tetanus toxide att 30000 or to 3 lakh international unit for a horse at the rate of 12 or intramuscular three injection are very important controlling of the muscular contraction injection chlorpromazine 0.4 to 0.8 mg per kg body of weight IM or IV should be given with interval injection acetyl promazine the dose rate point zero five milligram per kg body of weight two times a day or xylazine may be given dazepam point zero 1 to 0.4 mg per kg body of weight and if you feel there is difficulty in passing of food unable to take in food so we should pass nasogastric tube for fluid keep the horse in dark room slinging anemia urine catheter should be passed atropine sulfate to decrease the saliva production should be given if animal is able to drink so we should neutralize the toxin with milk and egg both are mixed and can be given to the animal i hope you will understand this disease etiology its transmission and treatment thank you so much please subscribe my channel i hope thank you so